This is a Making Comics 101 quick tip. <laughs> Greetings people of the internet, I'm Scott with Circus Art Labs. Welcome mad creators to the underground laboratory where together we're going to create some awesome comics because this is a Making Comics 101 quick tip. This is how it works. Every Monday I put out what I'm calling an issue, you can call it an episode, a video, presenting a topic having to do with the creation of comics, and I'm kind of going in order. So basically this course is Making Comics 101. We start with just coming up with ideas and we take it all the way to like publishing and promoting the final product and everything in between. And right now we are up to, we're talking about reference this week. So on Monday I put out the proper episode, get the topic out, let you know everything you need to know about it that I know anyway. And then on Wednesday I put out another video and that is sort of a bonus issue where we dive a little deeper. And then on Friday we do this, this quick tip. So. What we're talking about is reference. But what I wanted to talk about today, as far as reference goes, are posable models. Now, I showed this thing off before in the proper video that came out on Monday. Now, this is, I don't know what it's called, a posable model for figure drawing. Uh, this one here, I got at Ikea, and it, I think it's more of a decoration. It's very limited to how it can turn around and everything like that. But there are better posable figures out there that you can get. Now, what I wanted to show you guys, I went to place an order and I just wouldn't get them in time because most of them are shipped from Japan, are these uh, posable figures. They're called like body cone and body, body chin, depending on whether it's male or female. But they are little posable, almost like action figures, but they have so many points of articulation and they're perfect for all intents and purposes. They're just uh, almost like a naked body that you can pose and, you know, use as reference. Now, like I said I don't have any of these but I will show you what I've been using um, and you can find where did I put that guy ah here it is so I've just got this little this spider-man figure now obviously there's you can find toys all over the place they're getting more and more realistic more and more articulated this one's an older one so they might even have better ones but because he is sort of in a skin tight costume he works pretty well and like I said he's got tons of little points of articulation I mean everything you can move his arm around he, even his little fingers can go down and make sort of the spider-man you know the web slinging thing even his toes flip up so you can get quite a few different poses off of this guy now if i wanted to um and i don't because i kind of like i don't like this black suit spider-man but i could probably paint him with like a gray primer and if you do buy some of the body chan or the body coon figures i would recommend getting the flat kind of that flat gray they come in i think i think they come in a sh sort of a glossy black like this uh, they also come in like sort of a, some flesh color tones and then the gray, but I think for drawing because the thing is like Another thing that these are good for is if you shine lights on them You can kind of see how different lights react now since this guy has sort of is sort of a glossy finish The lights just kind of bouncing around now if he was flat So like I said if I wanted to paint him like a matte finish the lights gonna absorb that and you're gonna get a little better uh to find out as far as how shadows cast and fall on your figure. But but yeah, I use this guy quite a bit, and especially if I was drawing Spider-Man, I mean, you can do all kinds, you can put his, his leg behind his head and get one of those crazy Todd McFarlane poses or whatever. But yeah, just pose these guys how you would like, and you can look at him in different angles and space but these these little posable figures are just great for drawing reference i will leave i can't i don't know if i can find this guy in particular but i'll leave links to where you can find some of those manga body chan and body cone figures and uh you know check them out they're very helpful and uh, like i said i gotta order some of those but for now this guy will work and maybe you have an action figure in your collection just lying around that can work as well but these work but these guys work if you're sort of in a pinch for for a model to do figure drawing off of so that's all i got to say today and i will see you guys later that is all Hey, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw and you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Also, you can follow me at CircWorks on social media, and now you can support the work that I do on Patreon. If you like making comics, then go to CircWorks.com and pick up the Comic Maker Starter Kit. It's packed full of fonts, brushes, templates, and more. And best of all, it's totally free.